obviously Sanborn um, and Chanel played a ton of snaps for you. And I'm just curious, are any of the younger guys closer to being able to help you give those guys a break? Or are you worried about that at all at this point? Yeah, I think that's a great question. Definitely, uh, there were certain games that, you know, my philosophy is, you know, I'm going to play them until, you know, I want the absolute best player out on the field. And so, uh, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to play them until I feel like I can't. Um, and we had, we had some options last year and, and at certain times we put guys in to give them, to give them a breather, but it's definitely a concern, you know, and you're always trying to bring up your young guys. I mean, always, that doesn't matter. Um, you know, what we've been, we're almost halfway through camp and I feel like we've got some guys that are starting to show some signs that, you know, where you, you're starting to trust them a little bit more. But yeah, I mean, I'd say that's, you know, that's where we're at right now, but it's, it's definitely a concern. It's, but it's been a concern, you know, um, for that, and, you know, two years ago, you know, uh, playing Chris and, and uh, Jack, you know, uh, you know, I hardly ever came off the field, you know. Jesse? Bob, is one of those young players Muma? And uh, if so, what have you seen from him? Is he a guy who can weigh into that rotation potentially? Kind of cut out there. I was asking about Muma. What have yeah. you seen, What have you seen from him? And is he someone who can work his way potentially into that rotation? I think right now, yeah, he's, you know, number one, he's been available, you know, and uh, so halfway through camp, he's doing some really good things, uh, kind of the things that we saw when he was a high school player do. We saw him that we really, really liked, and he's starting to do those things. He's more comfortable. So, yeah, I, I would say that he's definitely one of those guys that uh, I was uh, hinting about and is having a good camp right now and is a guy that, you know, as he continues to move and we have uh, uh, more of this camp and then get into the pre-fall, that I would feel good about him being in that spot, yes. Colton? Uh, we saw Tate Grass get into lots of special teams last year and then crack the two deep uh, on defense as well. What has he done to kind of earn your trust to move up in that, that rotation for you? Well, you know, I mean, Tate's a guy that's had a lot of or has um, some really, you know, higher level physical traits. So when he started out doing that, you know, you really like that part about him. Uh, it was just putting it all together, you know, being able to understand what we're doing out there on the field. You know, if you're going to be an inside linebacker, you got to be you have to be vocal. You, you know, you're making a lot of calls, you're making a lot of adjustments, you know, and, and you know, he's kind of. He's, he's gained my trust by doing those things. Uh, that's the starting point. And then after that, he's, you know, he started to, to be more productive out on the field, you know, and he's playing more physical, he's playing more confident. And that's been a real positive in, in this camp so far. You know, he showed some toughness, he's fighting through some things. Um, you know, you really appreciate those things. Jake? Hey, Bob, I know that Mike Mascalunas is out, but I think during the two open practices, I, I haven't seen either, uh, you know, Jordan Turner or Malik Reed. Have they been able to go uh, during spring ball at all? And, and talking about young guys, what have you seen from, from their development as well? Well, I mean, it's, yeah, they've been able to go in the beginning and then, and then they, they weren't. So as of right now, it's kind of up in the air, that, that part right now, you know, we'll go in tomorrow and see where we're at with numbers or, when we get a report on injuries and stuff like that, you know, um, you know, really, I would just say that, you know, those young guys are trending up, you know, but, uh, you know, I, I have a hard time, you know, going much further than that. You know, if, if we're kind of at a standstill right now with, with, with some of those guys right now and the, the way their health is. Back to Colton. When you have a situation like this where you've got some guys in and out of the, of the rotation right now and you've got guys like Jack and Leo that you know are probably going to play quite a bit in the fall, 
you try to manage their reps a little bit, maybe give them a lighter load here in the spring since you've already kind of seen what they can do on the field? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm def. I mean, we're going to man, everybody's going to manage reps of their, of their unit, you know, depending on, they got a lot of guys or a little, not as many. I've started out with a really good, healthy number and that number's going up and it's going down. Um, but as far as, you know, Leo and Jack, I feel like they got to have enough reps, you know, to continue to sharpen the blade, so to speak, you know, um, no one has arrived and they know that there's a lot of different things that they can do better out there. So um, I'm, I, I would hate to ever be in that mindset of, oh, you know, these guys are good and we, we're going to just, you know, um, so we're going to push them, you know, and, and try to get, you know, make sure that these guys have a great camp. Um, but at the same time, you know, you get to that point, And I think that's really where the, the trick is, is, okay, what, what do they need to get what I was talking about? And then, you know, there is a huge push for me is who is that next group? You know, who, who are going to be the guys? And so that's probably what weighs on my mind the most is who are that, who's that next group of guys? How are we going to get them ready? And get them ready means reps, you know, so it's kind of exactly what you asked there. Um, so being creative and finding ways to make sure that that next group of guys and even that group behind that second group. So they have a chance to show their skills and where they're at. And they have a, you know, they feel like they've been fairly treated to um, push and, and, and become the kind of players that they want to become. So yeah, every day that's a, that's a, you spend a lot of time looking at, okay, this is how many calls we have, and this is how I want to divvy up the reps. And this is why. Zach. Coach, um, obviously we've only seen two practices, um, but I've noticed maybe Jack going up to the younger guys, putting his arm around them and, you know, talking about maybe what, how to do this drill or improve better. How has his leadership kind of improved from, from last year to this year? Yeah, I, I mean, he's definitely is a leader on this team. Uh, he's always been outstanding with the group. And I think he learned that from the guys before him. Uh, we've always been a group that we're trying to help each other get better. It's not of, you know, uh, hold on to your secrets type outfit. Uh, we do a lot of that in our meetings and stuff like that. You know, let the players, uh, an you know, answer questions or they'll, they will add on to things and say, hey, if you try this, this might help. We, we've got quite a few guys that are at that stage in their careers right now that they can help our young guys. And it's, that's huge. I mean, that, to me, that's, those are some of the things that I think separates us from maybe some other programs is that, you know, we're, we're trying to help everybody get better there, but yeah, Jack's done a great job of that. He certainly, you know, you noticing that um, he's been doing that for a while um, and he's been great for the group. I got time for a couple more. We'll go back to Jesse. Bob, when you watch the tape of Jack and Leo and met with them before practices, were there certain things you noticed that you wanted them to improve? Where can they expand their games? Well, I, for me, overall, the easiest answer to that question would be to play fast or, you know, play as fast as you possibly can, you know, um, you know, working your eyes and making sure that you're, you know, whether it's a pass fit or a run fit, we're there, you know, way ahead of time. I think technique is something that never is ever, you know, mastered. It's you just continue to work that um, and, you know, expanding some of the things that they do. You know, if they're able to do this particular technique, maybe it's time to work on to another one and expand their toolbox, so to speak. And that's that's where these guys are at right now. Um, and, and they know that, and they'll tell you that, hey, there's, there's some things that I got to work on and get better at. But, um, you know, we, we run a pretty diverse package and we run a lot of different things. So uh, I would say having command of those things inside and out, you know, we're, that's we're, what, what they're trying to do.